Owing to the call to diversify, which now hatches vast successes in the going green effort. And this could have been better, explained the man entrusted care of the president's farmer Sifo, if only his water supply system is boosted to standard. This is the, the, the pipes here. I tried three, yeah, three right? yeah, I tried, no, not sprinklers, because the, the, using the borehole directly you cannot spring. You know, if you have electricity, it can. But with the solar system directly from the solar, uh, from the bowl, it cannot. So the pressure is too low? It's too low, it's too low. So we use the pipes, the hose pipes to do the watering. And that definitely delays our time because it's a place where I can spend 30 minutes. You spend one hour or two hours because the pressure is not there. In fact, when group, you have, we are, are divided the farm into four. But sometimes two groups will operate at a time. If you operate the four groups, you don't have get the water. I tried three methods. The first one was to build reservoir, and we use watering cans to fetch from the reservoir water the bananas. I thought that was too slow. I then decided to come with sort of like a drainage system, where you just open the you know the pipes and then the water will flow from one banana to another. But what I detected was it will also carry sand, and before you realize, the holes are filled with sand. That doesn't help. So I changed to this method again. So water is my problem here. If I have water 24 hours around the clock with good pressure, I would trust me. It's a matter of one year. One year. So it's a matter you, need, you need water tanks, you need a generator, or what do you need? A uh, generator may cost me because, it's, uh, let me say, it's something that we are starting. So we have to be very careful on the foundation. You know, we need to have electricity. That electricity is more sustainable than putting a generator. How many liters will you need? 60 liters, and now 60 liters will call almost 3,000 every day. And the maintenance issue? Maintenance issue as well. But with electricity overhead tank, you are there. The secret to success is commitment and determination, and the staff whose services have been employed here have boot on their sleeves. And for the head of the team, it is important to incorporate sincerity in anything one does. I wish you come here during the dry season and see. We want to also go into vegetable production during the dry season. You know, definitely I will call myself a lucky man because I have the willing boys behind me. The staff I have here, definitely I want to thank them. They are definitely willing and very cooperative to me. Whatever assignment I give to them, they, they do it. Because I'm trying for them to understand very well why we are here. You know, you need to know in the first place why we are brought here. If you know that, then you will know where you're going to. The purpose of going here, there are so many, many people, so many young people who even know it better than me. But I'm lucky for the president to have that trust and confidence in me. So I have to make sure that trust and confidence is definitely fulfilled. Sifo is home to a variety of fruit trees, well placed to advance the quest for household food security. Other crops are also doing well on the farm, striking a perfect balance in the maintenance of this vast orchard and chanting a stillness over a seemingly forgotten expression. There is a self-style management put in place, emphasizing the importance of sustainability with Jalang Sane releasing every moment spent on the farm. Uh, one uh, orange tree can produce, as I said now, two to three bags. But when they get to their full maturity, it can give you five bags. And then a bag of these uh, oranges can give you 1,200 a bag. Meaning if they get to their maturity, each orange can give you minimum of five, six thousand dollars. Minimum, each, plant, each yeah. plant. Now we have about no 800, 800 orange trees presently. We have 800 present. Each, each, of, each one of them can give you how much? 6,000, 6, 7,000? When they get to their maturity. Because now it was last year they started fruiting, Produce, okay. producing, yeah. So after this is the second year. By next year, they get to their full maturity. And each, the minimum you can get is 6,000. There's, there, there's money in farming. Huh? For me, Abdul, if, I, if, I, if, if I will, somebody will give me money, I'll go into farming. All that Sifo asks for is stability, for it to nurture itself through the acclaimed. Abdunjai, GRTS. Three days after the president ordered work on certain hotspots within the Canifing municipality, the Canifing Municipal Council has partnered with the National Roads Authority to clear the gutters and fill potholes. The works have been personally supervised by the Minister of Works, Construction and Infrastructure, Balagaba Jahompa and Mayor Yankubakoli. Mamadi Jala has details. Work teams have deployed a lot of strategy to clear debris removed from the gutters. Dozens of volunteers are taking part in the operation to keep the area clean and allow the free flow of water. It comes three days after the President of the Republic, His Excellency Sir Professor Alhaji Dr. Yahya A. J. J. Jame ordered the concerned authorities to clear the rubbish and fill the potholes. 
Bala Gaba Jahumba, the Minister of Works, Construction and Infrastructure, and Mayor Yankuba Koli of the County Municipality were at hand to supervise the work. That all this sand and garbage that is here, that we should clear. Because if it is accumulated here and the rain comes again, it is going back into the gutters. And as you know, as vanguards of the July 22nd revolution, when the president gives directives for us, we act like a bifal. That's why we are here to carry out his instructions together with his lordship, the mayor of KMC. I'm, I'm very happy that the action also, uh, when I call upon to the use of my municipality also, they responded well. You can see these uh, voluntary, these are youths that are doing it voluntarily. You know, they are not looking out for anything. So uh, for me, I am very grateful because I'm working hand in glove with the Honorable Minister and his team at the uh, National Road Authority. Adam Mumbai is one of the youth leaders who was very instrumental in mobilizing his peers. We are very satisfied and I have to thank all the youth that are here. I have to thank the Lord Mayor. I have to thank the Consequence Youth Mobilizer for trying to uh, put all the materials together so as for us to be able to make this job. According to the two officials, work will be extended to other areas as directed by the President to ensure that the drainage system is free of debris. The long-term solution, they however argue, demands attitudinal change from residents when disposing waste. But it is also important to highlight that as Gambians, there must be some attitudinal change. Because some of these things that you have seen in the ghetto, or in the ghettos, some of the things that you have seen, the people dumping waste all over this country, it is incorrect. We must change our attitudes. In as much as President Jame is instituting some development projects, we also as a people must change our attitudes. You can see most of these people, some of them are from Bundung area, some of them are from Talinde, some around Abuko. You know, some not even from Larekuna, but not even living within this side of the road. You can see, and you see others who are in fact the beneficiaries of this very area. See what is happening. They are all sitting down, relaxed, and leaving people to do the job for them. Wrong! Very wrong! We must change as Gambians. Let's change. That's the thing. At another intersection in La Rikunda, the National Road Authority is filling potholes, as also demanded by President Jame when he visited the area. This is in response, as the minister rightly put it, in response to some of the observations made by His Excellency the President during our visit on Saturday. Uh, what we're doing now here is called a rock fill. We apply this sort of method in areas that are so muddy uh, that we, at a time, we cannot use laterite, of course, to address the situation. So we sink in these uh, laterite boulders to make sure vehicles are able to ply the road, even if it rains. This process, according to Senghu, will be followed up on all other roads to prevent further degradation of the road network. Uh, we're also looking at uh, the swampy areas, of course, where we visited uh, with HE. We're addressing that. We've also sent a team on this Latikunda Sukuta road to look at the depressions and, of course, some of those dumping areas to be addressed as well. Henri Jalo, GRTS. There will be a live firing exercise by recruit intake 33A of the Gambia Armed Forces at Lance Corporal Bojang Range in Birkama from Wednesday 28 August to Saturday 31st August 2013. A news release from the Defence Headquarters reveals that the exercise is meant to assess the recruits' weapons handling techniques, individual marksmanship as well as introduce them to military life and skills. The general public, especially those living around the range in Birkama and its satellite villages, are therefore advised to avoid the designated area during the exercise. The cooperation of the general public is highly solicited, the dispatch concludes. The garden at Bansang Hospital is now dotted with cashew trees. The tree planting exercise was spearheaded by Bansang Hospital Staff Association and supported by security personnel posted in the area. Louis Mendy tells us more. From the year 2006 to date, Members of the Bansang Hospital Staff Association voluntarily contribute 10 dollars each to help in feeding patients admitted at the Bansang Hospital. Proceeds from the four farms owned by the hospital are credited for contributing immensely in actualizing that noble goal. One of them is this five hectare coos farm situated in Galemanda, some 15 kilometers from Bansang. 
All the produce from this farm have been sent to the hospital store for 